four, three. Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to another lunch break brought to you by Rectech, powered by Kingsford. It is Classic Meals Week. We're doing all of our very best classic uh, recipes that are coming straight off the grill into your mouth. Without any further ado, let me pass it around to my main man, your barbecue dad, Jody Flanagan. That's right. That's right, baby. It is a beautiful day. Share this all over the internet world. We would really would appreciate it. Uh, you're watching us on YouTube right now. Hit us up with the live comments over here. Hit us up with the after live comments down below. We'd love to know. What would you like to see us cook? We'd love to know where you're watching us from, and we'd love to know any questions that you have. Chef John's on the ones and twos. That's right. He's going to man that board for us and get those questions to us. Uh, but it's Classic Week. I want to remind everybody before we get into this, if you purchase an RT700 or an RT2500, you will get an offer of $100 off of a bullseye. Okay, it's an amazing deal. You can also add a pellet bundle to any grill purchase and save $71, okay? We've also got an amazing new dog collar, sizes medium and small. Sorry for mm -hmm. those Great Dane owners. You know what I was thinking, John? What? You can actually put two mediums together. You could. To make a large dog you collar. Could. And actually, Jody, I think if it would fit around my neck and your neck, it would fit around a pretty large dog's neck. A fairly large. Fairly dog's large. Neck. Not a mastiff. No, not a mastiff. Not a, bulldog, not a Rottweiler. Not a rot. But like a Doberman. Know. Yeah, a small pit. Small pit, for sure. Yep. A Jack Russell, definitely. That's what I got. I'm definitely getting one of those for my dog. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we've got dog collars now, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you visit rectech.com on the regular. So you know about all of those amazing things. Or if you don't want to visit the website regularly, all you have to do is sign up for the newsletter at rectech.com. You could have found out about that amazing product now available. But mm -hmm. uh, Classic Week, let's get into it. It's hot out here. I love shrimp. Do you? I love seafood. So that's what I wanted to do, to yeah. do for our Classic Week. That's okay? right. Um, now I've got some salmon. Get on over here, Sherpa. Already rolling already. Okay. Um, I've got it on the RT700. We got it set at 350 degrees. It's holding temperature perfectly. You can see we got some of that delicious fat coming out of our salmon. We're shooting for an internal temperature of about 140 degrees. We're at about 110 right now, okay? I do have it on some cedar wood planks um, that we uh, let sit in water for about an hour to absorb some of that smoke so those things won't actually um, burn. Like but yeah, that. we've got that whole side of salmon sitting on those cedar planks, getting some delicious flavor added to it. We're using the Kingsford cherry wood today. Now, this salmon I seasoned up uh, with something special from our friends at Lane's Barbecue. I hit it with that Q-Nami uh, visit. Oh. Lanesbarbecue.com. What mm -hmm. the heck? We're saying Qnami. We're oh, excited about man, it. Man, cheese and crackers. I thought somebody got hurt back there. That <laughs> was scaring me. And we've also got uh, our other uh, just regular fillets of salmon on our stick resistant cooking mat here. Made it super easy to put on and it's going to make it super easy to pull off of the grill as well. So uh, that stuff can be found at rectech.com. Easy peasy. We're also going to throw together a uh, fruit salsa for Ooh. you today. That's right, a fruit salsa. Um, so let's go ahead and get to that because I want to actually. Uh, mix this together. I'm going to hand it to you, Shed, if you can put it in the refrigerator once I get done with it. Uh, but we've got about one cup of mangoes diced here, not diced, chopped, cubed, um, about one cup, okay? And you can alter these measurements, ladies and gentlemen, if you like. Don't overthink it. We've got a, one cup of uh, strawberries, that's right. So mango, strawberries. Mm. We've got about one to two whole avocados. Now it's very important that you uh, use the avocados that are not quite ripe. Okay. Um, because if you use the avocados that are ripe, they tend to be a little bit more smushy. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Um, I like to add about one uh, whole jalapeno. Give it a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick, a little bit of heat, a little bit of you know what. Um, about two to three tablespoons of diced red onion. 
brings out a lot of that color in there, okay? We're gonna put some of this delicious, already washed cilantro in there. About two tablespoons of chopped uh, cilantro. I'm a huge fan of cilantro with any kind of Hispanic dishes or any kind of fish or seafood. That's just what I like. Chef John, you got a great question. Yeah, I do. Uh, they want to know what temp are you cooking that salmon at? Uh, so we're at 350 degrees. That's what we're cooking the salmon at. And that's what we're also going to be cooking our shrimp at. And that's what we're actually showing you. Um, but I wanted to also uh, show you guys what else we had going on on the RT700. Okay, so we're gonna get a pinch of some kosher salt. That's right, about a pinch of kosher salt. And then we're gonna take, oh, I've already rolled one of these limes. So we're gonna take a lime and we're gonna roll it and we're gonna get the juice of one lime in this bad boy as well, okay? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, don't overthink it. Right, Chef John? That's right, that's what we told We're them. also gonna hit it with a little bit of that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub. This is also gonna give us a little kick. That Ron Screaming Pig rub works uh, great as well. But the juice of one lime goes right in this bad boy. And while you're juice of that, Jody, I need everyone to smash that share button. I'm gonna give them three seconds to do it. Three, two, one, smash it! And share this Thank you all guys. over the Share nets. it all over the internet. Come on over here, uh, Taylor May. I'm gonna squirt some juice. Give me squirting juice. Yeah. Hey, we're that. on YouTube. You guys, make sure you subscribe to the Rec Tech and Kingsford's YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, BBQ Dad Jody. Got a, a lot of amazing content coming up. We had a great time with our good buddy Dave Williamson and Warren Sapp. That's right, NFL Hall of Famer. That's right. Super Bowl champion. Super Bowl champion. You know, uh, national, you know, NCAA national champion, That's Warren right. Sapp. You American know, he's icon. A, he's a scholar and a American icon, <laughs> Chef, right. Chef John, for sure. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the beautiful colors yeah, it looks and so just weird. everything coming together. That salt, the sweetness. The acidity, a little bit of, a little bit of sourness from that, uh, from those um, the fruits. All right, Chef, put that in the refrigerator for me. That looks good. Now, Jody, could you sub any of those fruits? Yeah, shoot, yeah, John. Okay. Uh, I would just, uh, just a tip: use fruits that are almost ripe. Don't use uh, fruits that are already ripe because okay. again, uh, there's uh, acidity in there. Um, and that acidity can start breaking that stuff down That's and make right. it kind of mushy. Oh, okay? good. Um, but for those of you who don't know, I kind of learned today how to do the whole mango thing. So get on in here, Sherpa. So you want to find, um, I guess, where your center line is. That's right, that say. seam. That That's seam exactly right. that goes all the way down here. That's essentially where that seed is going to be, okay? So we're going to cut almost to the center at each side of that seed right there, okay? And then yes, you can get in there and get some of this stuff out, but, but I'm not really worried about it. Now, be very, very careful. And we'll take our mango and we'll just make a checkered pattern in it, okay? Easy okay. peasy, lemon squeezy, don't overthink it. Just a checker pattern. As far as you can go, don't go through it, okay? And then invert it. And then that what? gives you all of your little cubes. And again, you can peel them off just like this if you wanted to, or you can just take your knife and shave them off just wow. like so. That's okay. what I'm talking about, barbecue dad. And then after you get done with that, you can go So that's what I do. Mangoes are amazing. Are you a fan of the mango, Jody? Huge fan, John. <laughs> Huge fan of the mangoes. Okay, so that's how you do the mango. That's how you prep that. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. I'll give the camera crew some mangoes here. Um, and for the strawberries, all we did, cut the top off of them, cut them in half, and then we cubed them. Okay, easy peasy, right? Don't overthink that, ladies and gentlemen. That that was the easy part of this whole show, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, next we need to get to is we need to cook, start cooking these shrimp. I've already got some on here. They look Ooh. absolutely amazing. Yeah, We're gonna go ahead buddy. and pull those bad boys off. And again, we cooked at 350 degrees on the RTB380 bullseye using that stick resistant cooking mat. You too can have results like this, but come on over here, Sherpa. So what I like to do, Shed, I need another stick resistant cooking mat, please. What I like to do, um, these are already peeled and de-veined, um, but for me, I like to take a fork, if these already had the peel on them, and I would take my fork and I would run it all up the backside right there. What that does is it okay. opens up this vein here and it also peels that shrimp. Be on the lookout for I some like amazing that. shrimp peeling techniques uh, coming up soon. Got, shot a lot of great content last month. Um, oh, thank you, you're a godsend, Bubba. So we're gonna take our beautiful shrimp and we're just gonna lay them out. 
Now, what you could do if you wanted to, you could hit them up with some of that uh, some sesame oil, mm. some extra virgin olive oil. You know, you could do any kind of oil, but these are very, very tacky because we actually thawed these. So we are not going to need any kind of binder or anything like that, okay? But um, what I like to do for shrimp is I like to hit them first with that Jody, uh, excuse me, Dirty Girl mm -hmm. Bloody Mary rub. Very fine. Fine little... Good on all seafood, not just shrimp. Shoot you. And then hit it with a little bit of that Jody's Asian Persuasion. Okay? And then we'll flip them. And yes, I like to do it on the mat because the mat helps catch a little bit of that seasoning. So when we flip... Uh, some of that seasoning that we may have thought we lost, we actually gained back. Ooh, but again, like the shrimp are small and they can take a lot of seasoning, okay? But again, we're using the Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub, the Jody's Asian Persuasion. John, you actually used this combo That's for right. your wings. And it was a you? perfect dirty combo persuasion, for those wings. Dirty Persuasion wings. Mm -hmm. I like Dirty Persuasion <laughs> shrimp, uh, Dirty Persuasion uh, sea bass. Oh, yeah. Halibut. There you go. You know, all that good stuff. But I wouldn't go above 350 degrees. Hey, how you doing? I wouldn't go above 350 degrees uh, with the cooking mat on the RTB 380 Bullseye. Now, why is that? Because that stick-resistant cooking mat cannot take direct heat, okay? Because that Bullseye has the perforated deflector shield, it can kiss the food or kiss your grate with uh, flames, and that is not good for that stick-resistant cooking mat. So I recommend not going above 350 degrees uh, with that. Got any good questions, John? Yeah, we have our good friend Kevin Fuller out here. Hey, Kevin. Kevin wants Can't to wait to get on that boat rip some lips yeah, with that's you. that's what I'm talking about. Kevin says, Jody, have you ever used a pineapple plank? It's when you cut a pineapple into yes, plank sir. size and then lay your fish on top of yes, that. Yes, sir. That's a great suggestion. I'm glad you uh, told the, uh, the folks about that. But yeah, you can absolutely take yourself a pineapple and cut it up and cook your food on it um, just like it was a plank as well. My favorite thing to do with the pineapple is actually cut them in half, scoop out the pineapple oh, stuff yeah. and put um, chicken teriyaki rice on the inside. Ooh, yeah, that's good. You know, or or uh, fried little... rice on the inside. Mm -hmm. Just heat it right out of that bowl. Yeah. You get the hint of the pineapple without getting all that acidity yeah. and breaking your food down. So um, but shit, I'm going to need that bowl of just a little bit so you can go ahead and bring it out. Um, but again, sorry. Check out this beautiful shrimp. Now, I tried to be fancy for you guys, of <laughs> course. So what I've actually got is I've got some of our shrimp skewered on yeah, a sprig do, of rosemary. That's Ooh. right, Chef John. A skewered sprig of rosemary. That's right. Um, but this is uh, something super fancy that you can do for your loved ones there you go. or your family. Um, a lot of folks don't think of it. Um, it doesn't impart much flavor, but it is really, really cool. Um, just make sure that rosemary is nice and moist because if it goes in the grill, it's right. um, less likely to burn if it's nice and moist. But uh, I always cook I don't cook shrimp to an internal temperature, John. Right. I cook temp shrimp until it uh, has that nice pink color. Okay. That gives me, you know, the the good feeling in my heart that it is done. I like it. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll eat some raw shrimp. <laughs> I'll eat some ceviche. You know? um, but again, this shrimp we seasoned with the Dirty Girl Jody's Asian Persuasion combo. The Dirty Asian or... Or, yeah, Dirty Asian. Dirty Asian. Jody, right. if they want this recipe or any of the recipes they see us do on any of our live shows, where do they need to go? That's what right. do they need, they to, need do? to go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break. Fill out all of the information. That way we can send you a bunch of emails with all of these recipes in them. Make sure you subscribe to the Rectech YouTube channel as well as Kingsford and mine, Barbecue Dad Jody's. There's also a new Rectech channel. It's called Rectech Live Videos. That's, right. that's where all of our live content is actually going to live from now on. So if you don't want to scroll through Facebook looking for a video um, or search through Facebook, you can search on YouTube, okay? So make sure you subscribe to the Rectech Live Videos channel that is brand new right now. But we've got Father's Day coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Um, start handing me some plates. Give me some of those plates over there. Uh, we've got Father's Day, so we've got a great promotion going on. Uh, if you purchase an RT700 or RT2500, you're going to get $100 off the purchase of a bullseye. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, makes a great companion. Um, my bullseye makes a great companion to my 700 because I don't like to take my 700 places. Um, my bullseye is super portable. Um, we can take it to the lake. We can take it to the ball games. Mm -hmm. We can take it to my dad's house uh, or anywhere like that. So. But um, that's my favorite thing. And again, it's, it makes a super quick sear station. We can smoke some stuff over on this bad boy mm -hmm. and t turn our bullseye on. By the time the bullseye is ready, we're over there searing. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, but again, we're searching for an internal temperature of 145 degrees on this salmon. Um, that lets us know it is good and done and safe to eat. 
but I'm using that uh, Rectech Instant Read Thermometer available at Rectech.com. And we're about 113 degrees. Uh, so at about 350 degrees, this whole side of salmon is going to take about 30 to 45 minutes. We're at about an internal temperature of about 125 on these salmon pieces. So we're going to close that lid and come back in just a couple minutes. And those, uh, those uh, small salmon fillets should be ready for us. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to go ahead and plate up some of this delicious looking uh, fruit salsa. While you're plating that up, Jody, I got a question from Banjo yeah. BBQ. What's up, Banjo? He said, what is a good Matt. wood flavor to smoke with? Uh, my favorite wood flavor to smoke with has got to be that Kingsford Hickory. You know, it's that good, bold, traditional flavor that everybody's really used to. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, you know, one of my go-tos. Um, but today we use the Kingsford Cherry Wood Pellets. So good. And that Cherry Wood Pellet's going to give you some great flavor, um, some nice sweetness. Um, uh, somebody can take that plate and take some pictures with it. I'm going to do another plate really quick. But uh, again, guys, thank you so much for tuning in and hanging right. out with us here on YouTube. One of my favorite um, days of the week is Thursday because we get to hang out with our YouTube folks. That's right. And uh, just cook something live right here mm -hmm. on our channel. Make sure you subscribe. That way you know when we uh, got a lot of cool stuff coming up. That's right. Um, this one, I'm just going to stack uh, some shrimp on top. But this fruit salsa or fruit salad, whatever fruit you guys salad. want. Yeah, fruit it's salad. It's like a salsa at this point. It's a salad. Um, this fruit so salad is so fresh, so vibrant. It's got some really, really good flavors in it. Sweet. It's got a little bit of heat, savory. Um, but Chef Jar, come over here and try okay. some of the, do we have, uh, yep. Hey, while I'm coming over, Jody, uh, John Starjevich wants to know, what did you use to moisten the rosemary sprigs with? Uh, I just use uh, some water. I just let them sit in a little bit of water. Um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't ever think it, but I'm going to take one of these little scrimps, like and then it. we're both going to dive into some of that okay. salad. I'm take a but shrimp. 350 degrees, uh, it takes about 7 to 12 minutes to cook these shrimps, mm. just depending on what size you have. We have the smaller size. Those larger sizes take just a little bit longer, but you're looking for that oh, pink wow. color. Oh, bye -bye. Mm -hmm. They're not in there that long mm. to absorb a lot of smoke, but mm. you can still taste that cherry wood sweetness. Be sure enough, can and blended with the salad, mm -hmm. it's perfect, Jenny. It's the perfect bite. It really is because you're getting that si that seafood saltiness mm -hmm. with this delicious fresh uh, sweetness. Yeah, a little sweetness. Uh, you got a little acid in there too, though. Mm -hmm. It really is perfect complement to this shrimp. I mean, mm. I mean, it rounds it out, baby. It really does. This is a home run. Home run, my friend. Killing it again and again Thank and again. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. But again, you can do this with shrimp. We've also got some salmon we're going to do this with. Um, now, I got the sesame oil here because uh, sesame oil is one of my favorite binders for any of the seafood. I put the sesame oil on the shrimp. I also put it on uh, my salmon as well um, uh, when it's not tacky enough or when I need a binder. Uh, I just love the nuttiness. Yes. Um, from that sesame oil, you're mm -hmm. getting you know all those Asian flavors. I absolutely love it. Um, but you could also use like a whitefish, like a tilapia, on this as well. It would be really really good. Yeah. I know we're going to be using a flaky or fatty um, fish uh, like that salmon, um, but any kind of fish would work with this salad. Mm -hmm. um, salad that's perfect for spring, yeah. summer. Uh, even fall, baby. Yeah, I would put it in a taco shell and put those shrimps right on top of that. It'd be Absolutely. delicious. Put them shrimps on it, baby. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any other questions before we get the heck out of here, Chef? Um, they just wanted you to talk. Uh, you already talked about your favorite pellets to use. Yeah. Uh, that hickory. The, the hickories, and then uh, for seafood, I'm a, it's a toss up between cherry, cherry wood and maple for me. Okay. Those are my two favorite seafood go tos. Um, but when I'm looking for that bold, you know, normal, um, flavorful smoke, it's that Kingsford uh, hickory. All right, so what about the uh, deals that are going on right now at Rectech.com, Jody? Can yeah, man, we got, that real quick? we got a lot of deals going on right now uh, with the purchase of a grill. You can get uh, awesome pellet bundles. You can get um, uh, price off of grills. Just go to Rectech.com and check them all out. Uh, with the purchase of a 700 2500 you can get a bullseye for $100 off. You can add pellet bundles mm -hmm. to grill purchases. You're getting 71 bucks off. Uh, we've got new apparel That's right. for your best friend up there. So mm -hmm. make sure you check out Rectech.com. We've got a good... Product spotlight coming later today That's on right. Facebook That's at right. 4 p.m. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then later tonight, I'll be uh, going live on Rectech's Instagram page at 11 o'clock for Late Night Munchies. Make sure all of you guys tune in. I'll see you all there. Y'all. Yeah. So good, right? You smashed it and really light. I like how you did that. It's hot outside, Man. really refreshing, light dish. Woo! So Get on good. here, Sherbet. Check out this uh, beautiful salmon. We're about ready to pull this stuff off. Again, 
the stick resistant cookie mat is going to make light work of pulling this fish off we're going to pull all of these four pieces at the same exact time yeah you guys can see i've got the cedar planks up here but i've also got them sitting on another wire rack that way i can grab this whole side of fish Smart. and take it off of the grill easy peasy lemon squeezy without making a mess um, without you know any of the uh the other things that come uh with taking a giant piece of fish off very smart. and that front folding shell you know make very light work of that pulling it off but last question john before right, we get so the heck this, out of here this one comes comes coming from john starsvich hey john john says jody how does a penguin build his house he igloos it together. Ah, <laughs> that was a good one, John. <laughs> we'll give you the dad joke of the day, John. Uh, brought to you by Shiner Bob Beer. There's nothing finer than a Shiner. Go out there and get yourself a delicious Shiner beer. Um, they've got the seltzers coming out. They've got the sea salt and lime coming out. Mm. So make sure you check out your grocery store and your package store and ask for some uh, Shiner Bach. Uh, your distributor can get it for you. That's right. But uh, product spotlight later today. Um, late night munchies, 11 p.m. on Instagram. Right. Friday, Friday is going to be an amazing episode tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but don't forget about the deals and discounts at Rectech.com. We love you here. Follow yeah. me on all social media That's at right. BBQ D A D J O D Y. He's at Chef John Pinnell. He's at Chef Greg Muller. He's at Pseudo underscore Hallelujah. I know you had to. Yeah, Sherpa screwed up his name. Now you can't find him. I love <laughs> it. But from everybody here at the worldwide headquarters of Rectech, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And we'll see you. At, At the, the Rec Tech. Tech. Do, do, do. I'm going to pull this stuff do, off, Sherpa. Stay center. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. Set it. Hey, hey. Come get it. You know. When the sun starts going down. When's that? Live your life the way you like. It's a Rec Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do.